Welcome to the Daily Jerry Anderson podcast, where once again consternation is caused by a reputedly too long opening record. There is an unspoken suspicion that the presenter uses lengthy tracks at the start of the programme to allow him the chance to sober up, to which I reply, no comment. That song was too long. I know it was too long, but I don't care. For an opener, it was too long. There are no rules. Always remember this. No, that's where you're wrong. There's no such thing as the average person, and there are no rules. That's too long. That makes you you not listen. That makes you turn off. It makes you go and put on a cup of tea. It makes you not listen. I would say the average person would say, I think that's going on a bit. I, I think I'll clean my shoes. The average person will not clean their shoes whilst that is on. The average person may not clean their shoes no matter what's on. All I'm saying to you is, mm. people are different. Don't bunch all these people in together. The average person. You're the average person. And look at you. Look Thank at the state. What's Ken want? Ken was in here working. He put, had he put on the big light. Did he? Yeah, so I don't like that light on. It means I can see yeah, you. So it's, it's put now, it off. It's Ken, back, put the light off. It's back now. I can't see these people. I never could, like could it. You, could you I never like it with the light on. Could you read one of the requests you had there for that Tom Petty song? I didn't bring any down with me because I didn't think it was necessary to itemise or indeed uh, indicate would be nice people. To mention that, all I'm saying is I have feedback. I meet people all the time. People send me emails, okay? People send me little notes, things like that, and I indicate they indicate that they like particular types of music. And they asked for that one? No. What, no, what do you say? No, they didn't. No. It was far too long. I don't care. I don't care. Maybe perhaps people out there would tell me what they think. Do they think it's sometimes that the opening song on this programme is too long? Because it gives me a chance to bed in. You know, because, you know, I don't get here until 29 minutes, 29 minutes past. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't even talk yet. <laughs> 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 it would be terrible if you don't read. Yeah. Anyway, uh, 29 minutes past 10 o'clock, sometimes before I get here, because I'm so busy with all my other work, all my charity work, my work for Jesus. By the time I get here, I can squeeze in the program. So I need a long record to stretch my legs and get into it. You know. I need that kind of thing. And also, I was reading the paper today. Isn't it great? I was so happy to read today that George Osborne, the uh, Chancellor of the Exchequer, has now discovered, somebody's told him that a lot of people who are very, very rich don't pay too yes, much tax. So He's terribly shocked <laughs> by that. You know, no, I think, imagine if nobody had told him. Many people poo-pooed the alleged educational element of the programme, but the presenter holds this strand dear and grasps every opportunity to enlighten the listeners on little-known aspects of history with which they may not be familiar, because they're stupid. Caller wants to know where he can buy the Amazing Grace song that you play. I don't play it. Because I've heard you play it. I know, because you're always no. here, and you always know if I play things or not. Amazing Grace, of course, was written in Loch Swilly, ten miles away from here. You know that, don't I you? did not. <laughs> Don't snap at me. I didn't know that. It was written in Loch Swilly. I never knew that. By a man on a boat. Tell me When more. you drive down, I don't know the exact story. I should know, and I, I had no intention of bringing this up if I had It's your neck thought, of the woods. If I had thought I was going to talk about this, I would have researched it more. Apparently a man or a woman, I'm not quite sure, sailed into Loch Swilly. You know Loch Swilly? Yes. The Lake of Shadows, Sean. Yes. That's yes. what you call it. Do you know why they call it the Lake of Shadows? Because there's also many shadows on it. It's constantly changing. And it's a tourist to dream to go down there. And you used to get drunk there all the time, remember? Anyway. What, what world heavyweight champion said it was one of the nicest uh, views he ever... He's travelled the world and it was one of the nicest views ever he's ever seen. Floyd Patterson. It's correct. I know that one. Anyway, there's a person on a boat wrote Amazing Grace. Ah, ha, ha, amazing. Did you ever notice when you drive down to a small town, which is my, well... My ancestral home, Bunkrana, County Donegal. As you drive there, there's a sign on the road. It says, Amazing Grace Country. Did you ever wonder why that was there? Uh, where's the sign? The sign is by the road, Sean. Where? To, to tell me again. Between... <laughs> Getting off at fun. <laughs> there used to be a... Ra- <laughs> yeah. There used to be a railway. Way yes. I- no, I have to explain why I'm laughing. Uh, there's a man the saying, sign the sign is at a place, a little kind of seaside place. It was a little halt stop on the train from Derry to Bunkrana called Fahan, F-A-H-A-N. I better say H as well for the benefit of the divided community. It's called Fahan, F-A-H-A-N. And there was a little <laughs> there was a little railway stop there. So if you got the train, this is a long time ago. I, even I don't remember this, you know, even me. Yeah. And there was a train from Derry. Uh, to Bunkrana, and everybody who went from Derry it was a seaside resort. Went to Bunkrana. They also went down there to buy goods. They would smuggle past across the border. They'd hang them out of the window on the other side of the customs and that kind of thing. But that's another story entirely. But anyway, uh, some people used to get off at Fawn, yeah. and that was regarded as being a kind of a silly thing to do because what's the point of doing that? So it also became a euphemism for contraception. 
Where's the same? So if you said to me, get off Where's at Where's the same? <laughs> it's at fun when you get off at fun. Where are boats? Oh, for God's sake, what do you want me to do? Give you, what am I, some kind of a, a surveyor? I don't well, know. You said, the... you said there's a sign which yes. says Amazing Grace Terry. Yes. Where are, you must have I'll read t- the sign. I'll tell, tell you where, where, it, where is. it is. A little place called Fawn. I know where Fawn is. Right. Do you know the, the bend? You come out of it and go down to the right-hand side of the hill down there? I know, down to the... P- it's there beside the road. There. That's where it is. At, there. On the main road? Uh, yeah, no, no. It's down a side road. I can hey. see it because I have binoculars. It's on the main road. Who's out there with you? Thomas, you know, she says down at the... You've, is it down at the marina? No, you only think so. I know, but I'm talking about the sign. Uh, did, you, keep... did you see the sign? You've read the sign. Uh, and what does it say? Amazing Thomasina. Thomasina's a new recruit. She doesn't realise how <laughs> stupid you are. Uh, it's no, just... there's not. Uh, there's two of us have seen it. No, there's no, you haven't. I've seen it. No, you haven't. Did, did Thomas, the undertone is just... He's seen it. No, he hasn't. He's seen it. There's no sign there. <laughs> Three of us have seen it. But I didn't see it. I know, but it doesn't mean if you didn't see it, it's not there. You tell me where it is now. And I've just told you. I'll, I'm, I'll look for that today. <laughs> go ahead. I'm going to look for Why that. Why don't you just leave now and go and find it? I'll look for that. No, I'm going to look for that at 12 o'clock. The talk turns to hair in people's heads. Always of crucial interest to the presenter who keeps a close eye on what others are doing with theirs. If one isn't alert, one may miss new sproutings. Heads of hair that come from unlikely sources. No one is safe. Why does everybody always say John Daly when they talk about bald people? Why does well, there nobody else bald? Right, Shame. Right, right, When's the last time you right, saw John right, Daly? Right, give me another person. Stephen Watson. He's not bald. He is. He is not. Well, he is. No, he's not. If I was him, I'd he's think I was bald. bald. He is. He's not. He is. <laughs> another. <laughs> you see, you can't give me a bald person. I, and you're dying to say Yule Brenner. And he's even further back. I can't say Yule Brenner. I know. I know. But give me another. What about Kojak? <laughs> so that's going back a bit. Go on, give me another bald person. Uh, why is nobody bald these days? You see. No, but do you know why you can't do that? Why? Do you know why I can't give you another bald person? What do you call the swimmer? Duncan Mayhew. No, good Duncan, Hugh. Good, good year. Good Hugh. Good Hugh. One of the things that... Do you know, this is one something that you perhaps we should explore in this man. program. No, 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 none of us pushed here. I would say we'd all of us be pushed. Now, if Thomasina... Ask Thomasina, just, can, can she name me a popular bald person? She's Go on, ask her. I'll she's wait on, she, talk, well, she wait, probably she, wait? she probably won't be able to do that. Do you know why? Right. Because our notion of what is popular and who is popular is always fed to us by television. Do you know any pop, well-known bald men, Thomasina? Famous. Yes. Who? Bald. Completely bald. See, we don't yeah. see them on television. Who? Master Chef. Who? The boy and Master Chef. Boy, the boy and Master Chef. <laughs> is that the best? That's Harry, a, Hill. This, this. Hill. Harry Hill. Harry Hill. Hey? Bruce Willis. Who? Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Heston Blumenthal. The boy out of MasterChef. The guy out of... See, there's bald people. See, there's not too many bald people on TV. See, bald people on TV are, are you know, it's strangely, they're aggressively bald. As if, you know, I'm bald. Look at me. Look at me. You never see anybody thinning because they don't get on television. <laughs> like me. Mm-hmm. But I might do something about that soon. I'm not quite sure. Yet. Do you know whose hair has made a great comeback? Right. Tell me who. And I want you to look at him. I was looking at Des O'Connor the other night. Is he dead? Is he? No, it's just the way he walks. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, no, do you know whose hair has made a great comeback? Give me a name. Good friend of ours. Good friend of ours? Name? Oh, name? Oh, Jerry Kelly? Yeah. No. What? Who? Come on. I don't know. Anybody in the whole world, I can't name no, somebody. No, come on. Come on. Whose hair has made a great comeback? Uh, yeah. Do you notice Julian Simmons' I've eyes be- beginning, left eye is beginning to close a little? No, no. I'll, I'll look at that. that. I'll look at that. No, this okay. man's hair has made a very quiet comeback. You mean, uh, Paddy Keaton is the best one. I no, 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 no. This is... This is Paddy th- Keaton came out of nowhere with a big bushy head of hair. No. I don't know where he got it. I can't find out where he got it. I know where Jimmy Nesbitt got his. Right, we know with all that. But Keaton must have got his in a different place. Who? Hey. Kilty. No, but this this hair what? this hair now is the sort of hair that you want. You know the front. How do you, do you know what I want? I know I know you want your front thickened. <laughs> <laughs> I I've never told anyone that. You must have been talking to someone. <laughs> Anyway, let's rephrase that. Uh, yes. I would like more hair at the top of my head on yes. the front. Yes. Never mind my throat being thickened. Okay, go ahead. Who is it? I don't know. 
Jason Donovan. No, it's, we, we talk about him quite often in this program. Phil Coulter? No. He's coming in here tomorrow. No. I must look at his hair. Mm. Phil hasn't done anything, has he? No, that's not Phil. No, it's Phil hasn't done anything. No. Uh-huh. Come on. I can't think. Hey, come on. I don't Ask know. me questions. <laughs> All right, then. Is this person a friend of mine? Yes. Or more, the, uh, more a friend of mine and a friend well, of yours. I would say he's a friend of the programme. A friend of the programme. And, and, and Does he appear in this programme on a regular basis? No. But he's a friend of the programme nevertheless. I would like to think he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's a listener. Has he appeared in this programme at any stage? He has in the past, yes. Has he, has he talked to me on the phone? Yes. Uh-huh. Is this man from the island of Ireland? Yes. From the northern part yes. of it? Yes. Uh, is this man connected in show business in any way? I wouldn't. Well, well can you say show business? Yeah, you can. Yeah, can well, you? Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you park that one? All right. Is this man gainfully employed otherwise? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, does this man talk to me about... Uh, no. He doesn't? No. I have no idea who he is. You do? Then. I don't know. Ask me another question. I don't know any more questions to ask. On, I don't care on. anymore. There's, there's a road I've you lost interest. Is he a, a politician? No. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got hair. Oh, he's got hair. Well, yes. a lot of people have hair. No, but I've noticed it. You've noticed it. It's part of my training. Is this, <laughs> is this man going to be upset if he is named in this contest? No, I wouldn't think so. All right, then. I, I well, name like him. him. No, you. Just I can't name him. I've run out of interest. Three more guesses. I don't care. Just tell me his name. I don't care anymore. I'll start you off with one, all right? Start me with one, yeah. He Go works on. for the BBC. Ah, ha, ha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's not Ken. It's Ken's baldy. No, Ken, no. Ken's very grey today. He's very grey, yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I worry about him. Right, I don't I, think he's long for this world. Right. We need to, right. Uh, BBC man. Send Ken away somewhere. Mm. A bit of a holiday. Uh, I don't know. He's cracking up. I don't know, but he works for the BBC. Is he in this building at the moment? No. Is he not? I don't, listen, I don't care anymore. Will you tell me? Give me a name. He works in Belfast. All right, then, give me a name. And he was on TV last night. Was he? Yeah. Who would have been on Noel Thompson? Is correct. His hair's great. Yeah. You look at Noel. I noticed that. Got very thick in the front. I think he's come at it from round the back. The presenter now takes a bold leap from body lice to the sinking of the Titanic. Not many broadcasts would attempt this of a morning, but the presenter knows no fear and is made of sterner stuff. No link deters him. Look, here's an interesting phenomenon. A man has drawn my attention to it. Right. Uh, I don't normally pay too much attention to Twitter. I Why are you wh- scratching a lot this morning? Because it's something at me. What are you scratching? You haven't... There's fleas here. What are you doing? There's something at me. I don't know what it is. It's a gnat or something. Something has got under my vest. I don't know what it is. Stop it. I just can't help it. I haven't had a bath for three months. Maybe that's it. What? But I'm not dirty. You know, what's the point of getting wet? Make it the flu. Anyway, one of the things that's come across, uh, a gentleman drawn my attention to it. He sends me a lot of Twitters. And apparently, uh, just this week... Is that what you call them, Twitters? Tweets. Yeah. I call them Twitters. Yeah. They're called tweets. Yeah. Sends me a cross-section of tweets, mainly from American people, who have just discovered... I've never seen a Twitter. <laughs> or a tweet. <laughs> never. <laughs> Have well, you got one in there? I've got one under my vest. Yeah. <laughs> have you? Have you got one there? Yeah, I'd like to see one. They're all here. Like, I'll show you one after. Yeah, they're lovely little things. Are they? Yeah, you shouldn't feed them though. <laughs> uh, but one of the things that's come across the past week or so, and only in the past week, is that a lot of Americans are suddenly realising that the Titanic is real. <laughs> no, seriously. Seriously. Yes, yeah, so, so many Twitters there. A fellow showed me a cross section. They thought it was just a film. Thank you for listening. Back tomorrow, if I'm spared by the boat.